Today's data science interview question comes from Airbnb. It's called Favorite Host National. So today's question is called Favorite Host Nationality. It's by Airbnb. The question reads, for each guest reviewer, find the nationality of the reviewer's favorite host based on the guest's highest review score given to a host. Output the user ID of the guest along with the host's favorite nationality. Both the from user and to user columns are user IDs. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is take a look at the underlying data. Here we have two tables. One's called Airbnb reviews, the other's called Airbnb hosts. So we know from just this line in the question here, both the from user and the to user columns are user IDs. So we have from user here and to user here. If we preview this, we have essentially from user, so a user ID, to user ID, from type, to type, and then the review score. So the way I'm reading this is user ID four is a guess, and they're writing a review and giving a review score of three to the host. And this host user ID is two. All right, and the same thing for this bottom one. A host, their user ID is one, is writing a review for a guest. That guest user ID is two, and the review score given by the host is five. All right, now taking a look at Airbnb hosts. We have the host ID, which is really the user ID, the nationality of that host, the gender and the age. So really the only thing I'm gonna care about in this table are these two columns here, host ID and nationality. So now with an understanding of the underlying data, let's write out our approach before we start coding. So just taking a look at the question again, we know that we're only interested in reviews written by guests. This table actually includes both, both uh, reviews written by guests as well as reviews written by hosts to guests. So what we wanna do is really just isolate these records here where the from type is equal to guess. So that way we ensure that all the reviews that we're gonna be analyzing are just reviews written by guess. So that's the first step is filter reviews by guests. So basically the from type needs to be guest. So the next thing we wanna do is Find the nationality of the reviewer's favorite host based on the guest's highest review score given to a host. So I'm going to isolate essentially the highest review score here, right? And so we need to find the highest review score given by each guest, by each user ID. So that's the next thing is to basically find the max review score by from user, which is really the user ID in this case. So now we have the user ID, which is the guess, and the maximum review score that they've given to their host. So the next thing we need is actually the host ID that got the maximum review score. So what we wanna do is essentially join the above query to the Airbnb reviews table and grab the host ID that received the max review score. So you'll be left with essentially a table that's the guest ID, the maximum review score given to that host, and then the host ID. So now we're almost done. We want to find the nationality of that host. And so in order to do that, we need to leverage this Airbnb host table here. There's a host ID, which is the uh, user ID, and then there's nationality, which is the nationality of that host. So what we need to do is join the above query to Airbnb hosts and grab nationality. From there, we can output the user ID of the guest along with, the, with their favorite host nationality. So now I'll just say output user ID and nationality of host. All right, so that's about it for the approach. Now let's start coding. So the first thing we wanna do is filter review by guess. So in order to do that, I will do a select star from our table called Airbnb reviews, where from type is equal to guest. So basically, again, this just means that 
The review was written by a guest to a host. And because we care about reviews written by guests, we want to just isolate those rows and remove the rest from the table. So if I run this query, what I should get are essentially reviews written by guests. And that's exactly what I get. From type equals guests all the way down to the end of the table. So the next thing I want to do is find the max review score given by a guest. So the guest column is from user, and I'll just re uh, rename it to guest ID just to make it a little bit uh, clearer for you guys. And then I'll grab their max review score as max score given. So the last thing I need to do is just add a group by, group by guest ID here, all right? So I have essentially the guest ID and then the max score given for all of the user IDs in this table. So the next thing I need to do, because we have the guest ID and the max score given, we want to know which host was given that review score. So I need to add a host ID as another column. So that's what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna join this above query. So I'm gonna join this query here to the Airbnb reviews table and grab the host ID that received the max review score. All right, so it's gonna look like this. All right, I'm going to do a select star from this table here. I'm going to alias that as an MS for max score. Then I'll do an inner join. And I'll have another subquery here where it's essentially select star from Airbnb reviews where from type equals guest. Because again, we want to just isolate just the reviews written by guests. And then I need to join on keys and my keys will be ID is equal to AR dot from user and ms dot max score given should be equal to AR dot review underscore score. All right, so let's take a look at what we have. We should have a pretty long table here. We have the guest ID, we have the max score given, the guest, the host, and then the review score. So to make things easier to read, I'm going to add an order by here. Order by guest ID. So what I can clearly see is that there are multiple guest ID that give the same max score, but two different hosts, right? This is two host ID 11 and two host ID 10. So that could be expected. A guest or a user of Airbnb probably have stayed in multiple Airbnbs and have given multiple review scores. And some of those review scores are the same. And so that's actually being captured here. And what we want to do next is just show where the host comes from, like what nation or what country they come from. So that's the next part of the approach is to join this query right here with the Airbnb host table to grab the nationality. So I'm going to write an inner join to the Airbnb host table, I'm going to alias this table with AH, and then join on the keys or key host ID, which should be equal to the AR table here, the Airbnb review tables. It should be to user to identify the the host ID. Okay, and if we run this query here, we should just now get an even longer table where I have the host ID, their nationality, their gender, and their age. So now let's actually start limiting the outputs a little bit. What we want to do now is just output the user ID, which is really the guest ID, and the nationality of that host. So instead of a star here, let's actually start limiting. So let's say guest ID is what we want. And we want the nationality, which is the nationality column. Let's just call this as fave nationality. 
So you can see here when I ran this query here, we have the guest ID and their favorite nationalities duplicated, right? We have uh, guest ID one, favorite nationality Brazil, guest ID one, favorite nationality Brazil. These are probably two different hosts, two different trips, but this user just happened to have hosts that come from Brazil. So what we wanna do is actually deduplicate all of this. One way to do that is just to add a distinct guest ID. And if I do that, I don't see any duplication anymore. All right, so if we check solution, we get it right. Another way to deduplicate data is to use a group by. So instead of adding the distinct up here, let's just run this code again so that I can show you that there are duplicates here. Let's just do a group by. So we'll add it right here, right after the last inner join group by guest ID, and then group by fave nationality. And here you get the same thing. We've deduplicated all of the duplication. So we have unique guest IDs throughout. All right, so if we check solution here, we actually see that our solution is correct. So there are two ways to actually deduplicate data. So that's it for this one.